Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's March 12, 2014, and here are our top stories. Tonight, victory in Connecticut as a police officer is suspended this week after viral reports exposed his public defense of door-to-door -door gun confiscation. Meanwhile, in Austin, Texas, armed activists stand up for the Second Amendment by open and carrying in front of a live national audience. No need to fear, InfoWars is here. Plus, a prominent scientist warns that GMOs will unleash ecocide across the planet. That's up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. The crew and myself have just returned from South by Southwest, a very successful open carry march with Come and Take It Austin, a local open carry group. Now, we went out to South by Southwest because we wanted to show Second Amendment rights to an international community. People who may not have never seen a gun, never touched a gun, had a chance to dialogue with us. And I even talked to a gentleman, had a bit of an animated conversation, so to speak. But I do definitely respect the gentleman, if you're out there watching, for standing your ground and at least being willing to discuss these issues. And also the Austin Police Department gave us a escort through town. And as uh, our viewers are well aware, I have various issues with APD, but they were uh, very friendly, very professional today. So my hat's off to you guys. And the real winner here is the Second Amendment and everybody being able to experience this. And you can find all this stuff on the, uh, the streams on prisonplanet.tv if you missed the Alex Jones Day Show today. Now let's go into our top story, victory. Connecticut cops suspended after calls for home gun confiscation. As the story went viral across social media, major public backlash ensued, resulting in Peterson's, that's the officer's, suspension and an internal investigation as confirmed to story leak by police captain Jeffrey Morgan. So if you're not familiar with this story, this is as the title headline implies, an officer said he wants to go door to door and pretty much drag you off kicking and screaming if you fail to relinquish your, relinquish your firearms. And we saw this in Hurricane Katrina, they went door to door, house to house, even I believe it was last year or the year before Bloomberg put out the article talking about the California gun repo men have a terrifying job. But you know, door to door confiscations don't happen in the United States of America. If you ask some people like the gentleman I talked to today, they try to pretend that it doesn't happen. And you know somebody else who likes to pretend or an organization who likes to pretend is the NSA. They pretend to be Facebook so they can spy on people all around the world. Now, you don't have to be a part of the NSA spy grid to be uh, spied on because we all know that Facebook stores your data, sells your data. You say, what do you mean sells your data? So if you type in, you know, hey, this weekend I went and saw the new 300 movie. Now you have all these ads for 300 on your Facebook page. They sell your data and also Zuckerberg called you a dumb effer if you use Facebook. The latest note in leaks on the NSA revealed that the spy agency is masquerading as Facebook in order to infect millions of computers around the world with malware as part of its mass surveillance program. And also, we gave you the stories how last month, the, uh, the leaks by Snowden showed that the British and American authorities, authority figures, um, I guess it would be more accurate, are spying on people through things such as Xbox. We all know that the Xbox is spying on you, and we try to warn people about this with the Xbox One and also the Xbox Connect system. And it's not just Microsoft, but they are definitely a part of the NSA spy grid system. Now, let's switch gears now and talk about the Ukraine. Ukraine, how to hide a Nazi army. This is a critique of a Daily Beast article. And the headline for that article is Putin's Crimea Propaganda Machine. Putin needed a story to spin, no matter how full of holes, and thus the neo-Nazi claims. But as it turns out, Crimea streets are not exactly paved with extremists. So the basics of this story is that, yes, there are neo-Nazis out there, but here in the States, they try to downplay the fact that there are neo-Nazis there on the streets. If you go to the mainstream organizations, they don't really talk too much about this outside of, I believe, just Time magazine. But the, uh, the Russian state propaganda machine, they're, they're all about it. Oh, yeah, there are neo-Nazis everywhere. You know, they're you know, behind every rock. They're like Bin Laden. They may pop out your underwear at the airport. So there's a balance. You know, there's the, the hyped up machine and the love downplayed machine. And the truth lies somewhere in between. You can go to... Tony Cardellucci's article and read more on that for yourself. And we'll go from Nazis discriminating against people to people discriminating domestically. A college group bans white people from diversity happy hour. So I'm not sure how you can have diversity by definitely distancing certain groups, whether they be racial divisions, religious divisions, uh, whatever type of divisions. They say they don't want you to be at their event. A group of employees at South Puget Sound Community College 
caused outrage after they made it clear that white people would not be welcome at a planned diversity happy hour. The event was focused around an effort to build support and community for people of color. The students, students at the college expressed their bewilderment at why a diversity event would specifically exclude people of a certain race. And I'm not exactly sure why that is. We've seen the white guilt bracelets and other manners um, meant to discourage you from racial or even national pride. We saw the students not being able to wear their American flag t-shirts to school in the United States of America because it might offend some people. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what type of country we live in where you cannot even wear the American flag as a shirt. And not only uh, American flag shirts, but NRA shirts. And I'm not saying the NRA uh, definitely represents everything that is Americana, but you know, they're a well-known organization. And the headline reads, high school student suspended for NRA t-shirt. A high school student in Grand Island, New York, received a one-day in-school suspension this week after refusing to turn his National Rifle Association t-shirt inside out, even though there's no uh, bans on this in the dress code. And we've seen this before. Like I so said, we talked about the American flag shirts, people who wear, you know, army type shirts. Your dad's in the Marines, your dad's in the army, you have an army t-shirt on. No, you can't have that because that promotes guns. Well, I mean, the army carries guns. You see the commercials all the time. You see them during the Super Bowl, at the Super Bowl. I, I don't understand why you can't have the gun, just this evil, wicked thing. But, you know, you can go down to 6th Street here in the city of Austin, Texas and run around topless. And that's all peachy keen. But, you know, if you see a gun, they act like that's crude and disgusting and disrespectful to people. I just don't understand the type of world that we live in today. And we'll end tonight with this, something else that I don't understand. GMOs unleash global killer ecocide across the planet, warns a prominent scientist. And I don't understand why you would allow GMOs to do such a thing, because we've already seen the stories about GMOs giving uh, horrible tumors to rats. I don't understand why you would continue to feed that to your population. GMOs in California, they wanted labeled but the big, uh, the big companies got behind it and they said, no, if you uh, make us label your foods, then you'll have to pay more for the labeling, as if they don't change their labeling for every major sports venue or for the new blockbuster movie. These are the things that I don't understand. And the gentleman, Nisim Talib, the author of Black Swan and Fooled by Randomness, says that GMOs have the potential to cause an irreversible termination of life at some scale, which could be the planet. That's exactly right because these GMO crops will blow into your field, infect your, your crop, and then the big agri companies will come and say, hey, you're using our stuff without our permission. We have to shut you down. Or your, uh, your animals, your children may eat these things and become ill. Like I said, we've referenced the rats who ate this stuff and became horribly ill. So Mike Adams' article and read more of this for yourself. And when we talk about more, you're going to get more. You're going to get more out of this South by Southwest March. Because after this break, Alex Jones will be giving you a new clip. Uh, I, I was talking to the guys. I think this is going to go down in history as the new Mike Martinez clip. If you're not familiar, Austin City Council member Mike Martinez said he wanted to make the gun ban legitimate. And, you know, we find a reason to show that every two or three weeks because the gun ban is ramping up more and more and more. I think this is going to replace this as the new clip. So you don't want to miss that. And also Leanne McAdoo will be giving you her thoughts on the, uh, the South by Southwest March. But first, if you like this broadcast and you would like to see it continue, stop by prisonplanet.tv and get yourself a 15-day free trial. You can see the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the rants, the special reports, all right there at prisonplanet.tv. So stay tuned after this break for an Alex Jones special report. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit madein1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty. 
Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. On the face of this globe, there are more than 180 nations, and less than six of them allow their citizens to keep and bear arms, places like the United States and Switzerland. There is a planetary move by the UN and powerful corporate interest to disarm populations. The Attorney General famously told a meeting of media executives that they need to brainwash the public against the Second Amendment and create irrational fears that guns are this incredible danger in the hands of citizens. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. The LA Times even had to admit that Gun crime is down 51% in the last 20 years, but that the public has the perception that there's more gun crime than ever. But the people are starting to wake up. All over the United States, there are open carry rallies where the people are going out and retaking their liberties and openly carrying firearms that is still legal, but that the media had made taboo. A right that is not exercised is basically destroyed. Mayor Bloomberg, financed by the World Bank, sponsoring South by Southwest here in Austin, has come into town and financed multiple anti-gun events, where they're even talking about how to censor free speech on Facebook to shut down the argument. So, over a hundred Texans marched today in an open carry march, and the good news is, out of hundreds of people that our reporters talked to, of trendies from California who'd visited Austin, only two people didn't think citizens should be able to openly carry and keep firearms. We are winning the fight. Congress only has a 6% approval rating. Of course the power structure wants to disarm us because they're scared that the public might someday, under a tyranny, defend themselves. But what's really winning the Second Amendment fight is this. Yesterday, I took out a bunch of Hollywood people shooting out at a friend's ranch. And a lot of them had never shot guns and hadn't even been pro-gun previously. And they totally got it and said, I'm a good person. Why do the police just have guns? I just shot all these guns, including 50 cows. It was fun. It was safe. You know, there was one actress there who was shooting bullseye at 200 yards the first time she shot. She's like, wow, I could be a person with guns and protect myself. True feminism, empowering women. The fake feminists want men out of the picture to make the state the husband. That's what the system admits they're doing. And so we took these women and men out. They shot firearms and were converted in the matter of hours over to fully understanding the spirit of 1776 and individual freedom. And in closing, we have a clip of some young geisha girls today down in South by Southwest in downtown Austin. When they were handed an M4, M16 variant, their eyes just lit up. Oh my god, this is priceless. Is it on safety? <laughs> 